Good morning. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. It's a definitely a different Wednesday today, June 3rd, uh, 2020. And we all know what's happening in the world. And I wanted to come this morning to still promote Wellness Wednesday. Because when we stop taking care of ourselves, we stop taking care of others as well. And we become less of a positive attitude in our community. So what I wanted to do today is one, I woke up this morning and Wednesdays are a day that I get to wear kind of a t-shirt that has meaning or um, just because I'm not always seeing patients, I'm getting to work from home, uh, running around and getting things done. And so to me this morning, wearing my Peacemaker shirt really meant something to me. I know you've seen me do a couple of videos with other shirts on. Uh, I did some uh, with the word love on there and with gratitude. And it's because it helps me um, kind of find my, my purpose for the day and what I'm going to do, not only just for my videos, but kind of my, who I might be reaching out to, what I might want to be doing uh, for self-care. And so today, I want some of you guys who are having a hard time to sit in that and be okay with it. It's okay to say, I'm not okay. We're still in this pandemic. And then what we've also happened to us is um, we have had to... Uh, take sides, if you will. And my side that I take is I am not okay with what happened to George Floyd. I'm okay with saying that to you. I'm not okay with that. I am married to an incredible man who served for 20 years in law enforcement. And I love that I can have that conversation with him. He has always treated people equally. In my practice as a physician, I've always treated people equally. Uh, and I can say that I truly enjoyed that I had a culturally diverse uh, medical school class, residency, and I want to say I treat the human race. That has always been important to me. And especially as we have made our nonprofit, our goal is to tell everybody that you deserve a name, you are seen. And so that's what I am promoting today. I want to shout out at the top of my lungs, I see you, I care about you, I hear you, I love you. And some of you might need to hear that today. And I want you to know that sometimes being quiet is not the right thing, but sometimes being quiet and listening can be definitely the right thing. So what can you do today? Maybe it's taken a, a time of being quiet and listening. Maybe it's using your voice because you too ha had thought in the past silence was okay when it was really not okay. But feel your heart, feel your soul and go from there because you know what? It does make a difference on how your health uh, proceeds. All of this tension, all of this anger, all of this confusion, all of this stress can raise our blood pressure, can raise our heart rate, can make us feel foggy brained, uh, can make us our tummy hurt, we can get reflux, we can get diarrhea, we can get constipated, we might feel chest heaviness, we might have palpitations, uh, trouble sleeping, trouble breathing. So if you think that not dealing with this is okay, your body might be having some of those symptoms. And so we do need to reach out for help. If, though, if some of you do, let me know. I've got plenty of counselors and psychologists. Um, some of them are having free sessions to sit in. So reach out that way. If you know a first responder that's having some issues, we can plug them into our nonprofit if they qualify. Um, and for those of you who are my patients, if we need to talk through some of this and figure out if we need to change some supplements or medications or meal plans, we can do that. You are not in this by yourself. We are in this together. We are the human race, okay? And so reach out to me. And if you know anybody that is like, I don't know if I can trust a physician, I'm more than happy to help them out through this too. So they can, they can definitely reach out. You can share this video with them. I love this saying um, for what, 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 what I, I read this morning in one of my quiet times. It's pray for eyes to see it and a heart to embrace it, then let your soul soar. Let me say it again. Pray for the eyes to see it and the heart to embrace it, then let your soul soar. Okay, that's incredible to say out loud. There are so many good things that are happening. Don't focus on just the negativity. Let's put a bridge to this, 
Let's walk with those who are hurting. Let's sit with them. Let's move forward and change must happen. I'm not saying this to say it's water under the bridge. It's not. We've got to cross the bridge. We've got to build the bridge. There are so many analogies I can say right now, but I just want you to know this is my word today for my wellness Wednesday, Peacemaker. I choose to sit in that space. I choose to hear my my fellow brother and sister, and I choose to walk with them. So I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next Wednesday.